This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu, and welcome to today's session. Now, this is the second session on the sound of music that we already did. Uh, we already had a previous session on this. So, in this session, we are going to talk about the most important question answers that can come. So, let's move ahead with today's session. I hope you would enjoy today's session just as just the way you did for the previous session. And of course, we will also see what is the message that we can take back from this session or this lesson. So let us start with the second session of The Sound of Music, which is from your NCRT Class 10 book. And moving ahead, first of all, let me again remind you that you could boost your course this exam season by buying the micro courses at flat rupee one. You have 2000 plus topic wise courses for class 6 to 12, grade 6 to 12, CBSC, ICSC, uh, and also for various competitive exams like JEE and NEET. So, what are you waiting for, guys? Hurry up and buy now. And of course, I would again introduce you to a live online quiz like never before where you can score, earn and learn. So download this app right now. You can have a price pool up of up to rupees 50k. That is an interesting price, right? So we will talk about the most important question answers that can come from the sound of music. So we already had a previous session on this and I talked about uh, I, uh, you know, asked you to comment on the comment section about what do you think is the message of the poem and what have you taken back what uh, from the uh, chapter. So I, I uh, got a lot of comments on that where you said that you have learned that hard work and determination is the key to success and, uh, you know, various other uh, positive comments and innovative comments from your side. That was really, really enjoyable read and great as well. And now, uh, and yes, I remember I talked about other personalities like uh, a few other personalities like uh, Helen Keller. And I talked about the movie Black. I don't know whether you have seen that movie, went back and saw the movie or not. But yes, if you haven't, then do see the movie. It is a very inspirational movie. So you have been inspired a lot that I could see from the comments that you have uh, given. So definitely, we learned a lot about uh, these personalities. So I'm going to talk about another, uh, uh, you know, yet another amazing personality from the life of whom we can get inspired. And the name of that personality is Malavat Purna, who is the youngest girl to climb Mount Everest. So uh, just think about that Mount Everest. And this girl, I think she was of only 13 years old, maybe. Uh, so she was a very young girl and she was the youngest girl to climb Mount Everest. So it takes a lot of hard work, determination and to remain in that cold temperature. It takes, uh, you know, it takes a lot of struggle. So it is not an easy task. She faced a lot of odds or a lot of challenges came on her path. But she paved her way out of those challenges, out of those struggles. She at last came out to be successful. So we learn from these personalities that despite the challenges that we face every day, despite the hardships that we face every day, we should never give up. So hardships are a part of life. And if we do not have, if the journey towards life is very, it remains very smooth, then we will not enjoy our journey. We do enjoy, uh, life is a journey which is full of ups and downs, right? So if there are only ups and no downs, then we will never uh, analyze or realize the importance of the ups. So ups have the importance because of the downs, right? So do not for, uh, worry about the downs that you face in your life. Just think that it is a phase of life and it will pass. And if they don't appear in your life, you will never realize the importance of ups. So you need to Come out of the downs. You need to, you know, uh, pave your way out and find success. I hope you have been inspired about that. So, uh, again, we, we are going to very soon have another exciting uh, news 
and that is going to be reaching you out very soon so stay subscribed to our channel to more no more a very exciting thing is just about to come to you and then let us do some exercises on the first part of the chapter that's quite amazing right so let us have it what are the most important points or what are the most important areas from the first part that we should look at when we are dealing with the first part right so the first part deals with the you know the personality the figure of evelyn and she is a renowned percussionist so let us have a character analysis of evelyn so if we basically cover the character analysis of the major characters evelyn from the first one second one bismillah khan then we will all also know some of the most important events that took place in the uh, in their story like in their uh, in their lives and thereby we would cover 50% of the text right so let us move let us dive deep into the character so she was a renowned percussionist she emerges as an embodiment of unflinching determination strong belief dedication and courage so it is because of her unflinching determination that she got success so we learn from these personalities to remain determined to have the courage to face all the odds and still not waver from our path although challenged by severe hearing impairment so she had a severe hearing impairment but she is able to make her way to an enviable position in life so if you remember i shared with you one quote of from helen keller she said that i cannot do everything but i can do something and i should do that something which i can do right so in our life we all should remember that we all are not masters in every aspect but we are some way somewhat or the other born of uh, you know given a, or endowed or bestowed with a uh, talent and we should nourish that talent of our every individual has some talent or the other god is you know benevolent enough to give you some talent you just need to recognize that talent and you know go ahead with that talent follow your dreams realize your potential realize your strength and move forward in life evelyn was found to have lost her hearing faculty at a very young age but what pushed her towards achieving her goal was her strong determination and that is what resulted in encountering all the challenges that she faced in life so she did not join the school that was meant for the you know a uh, disabled or differently able as the word is used today she for she, she was firm enough to decide to leave uh, to lead a life of a normal girl and she decided that i am not going to study in a school which is meant for the deafs or for the physically you know uh, for the differently able but i am going to lead a normal life she wanted to play the xylophone despite the fact that she lost her hearing capacity so her re resolution was so strong that uh, uh, first of all her resolution was so strong she had a great potential she had strength in her uh, you know in herself she had belief in herself and that is why that is what was noticed by her teacher ron forbes and he guided her he shaped her so evelyn learned how to develop sensitivity to musical sounds through different parts of her body and this was uh, you know she was guided by her teacher ron pop she managed to sense musical notes through her skin her hair her fingers and even her bare feet she and uh, she was endowed with great confidence she was able to get admission to the royal academy of music which was the most prestigious institution for music her confidence and devotion enabled her to receive the highest award in percussion music and he, she contributed immensely in that field and that earned her a special phase place in the orchestra 
despite her deafness she gave solo performances and she had a command over a large number of percussion instrument now she performed in prison and hospitals as well so she gave charity performances as well and that is uh, where we come to know about her humanitarian spirit her philanthropic attitude thus her confidence and resolution for a resolute decision was so strong that uh she revealed to the world that disabilities disappear before dedication and determination so she did not look at her disability she looked at her strength and that is what pushed her way forward her achievements are a strong uh, uh, they are a source of inspiration for those who suffer not only for those who suffer uh, from any kind of handicap they, it's actually it's a great um uh, inspiration for these people who actually suffer for some kind of handicap but it is even a bigger inspiration for all of us right so we get inspired from the personality of these immensely powerful and strong persons like evelyn so what do we understand from the chapter what is the message that we can take back and apply in our life as i always keep telling you in all my sessions that literature is very much related to your life you need to get every lesson everything has a moral uh, you know a lesson for us or a message all like uh, it has a message for us for us to take back or apply in our daily life it is for us to you know get deeper into the text and take a message out of the story so what is the message that we understand from this chapter is we may be encountered with thousands of problems but those problems should not handicap us right our aspirations can be only realized if we firmly resolute if one is firmly resolute and confident enough so she was confident enough about her potential although she was deaf she was confident that she could become a great musician a great percussionist so that was the strength that she had and really we should inculcate the same from her we should imbibe the same from her so those who learn to overcome hardship certainly achieve the highest goals so in order to achieve the goals we need to learn to overcome the hardships hardships will come in our life it is only uh, uh, those who can overcome those hardships and uh, despite failure who can embrace their failure and uh, you know again you know work hard again uh, start from scratch those who have the capacity or the strength to do so only they can become successful in life so there is always a way out of challenges of life so there is a saying where there is a will there is a way so there may be various challenges but you you should not find an excuse uh, you know uh, to uh, your th- those challenges should not overpower you you have to find out your way through those challenges and we need to adhere to it with unstaggering faith we need to have faith in our abilities that will help us to achieve the heights of success now why did her teachers discourage her her teachers discouraged her because they felt that being deaf would not be able she, uh, she was deaf so she would not be able to play the xylophone but one teacher did understand her potential and he changed his life right so the teacher uh, the teachers only saw the negativity right like every normal person uh, the teachers also uh, saw the negativity uh, that the handicap of uh, evelyn but ron was quite different he was he was an ideal teacher and what did he see he did not see the handicap but he had a positive and optimistic uh, outlook and he saw the potential and the capacities that ron uh, that uh, evelyn had right so that was the difference in the attitude of the teachers and uh, ron for right how did the different parts of our life 
uh, sorry uh, of a body sense it sense it as in sense the sound of music the sound waves and vibrations of music tingled her skin cheek bones hair torso and legs from these sensation she from these sensations she picked up the music so she was so you know uh, engrossed intermingled with the music with with, the, with another world that she did not even need her ears to you know make her a musician she could feel it with her body what does this statement show okay so what uh, what can we understand about the speaker's character so we can understand that evelyn was very sensitive to even the smallest of the sensations right so that is why she could feel with so much uh, you know uh, uh, with the with her whole body she could feel the vibrations of music because she was very sensitive to the sound of music she was determined also to achieve her goal despite her handicap how did evelyn hear music very important question evelyn heard music by sensing the notes in different parts of the body when ron turned to drums to different notes and asked her to sense the sound without using her ears she realized that she could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower drum from the waist down how interesting she learned how to open her mind and body to sounds and vibration vibrations it was sheer determination and hard work when she played the xylophone the she could sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips so this is how she learned to hear music through her body this is a question which is very very important and the most important from the first part by learning the drums she could feel the resonances flowing into the body the vibrations flowing into the body on a wooden platform she removed her shoes so that she could uh, you know uh, feel the vibrations through her bare feet and her legs she herself said that music poured in through every part of her body it tingled her cheekbones her skin and even her hair who helped her to continue with music and what did he do and say percussionist ron ford he was a life changer for evelyn he began by tuning two large drums to different notes he asked her not to listen to them through her ears but to try and sense them through her body right now the various places and the various causes for which evelyn performed um she was you know had she had a very hectic uh, schedule she gave solo performances at regular concerts apart from these pre concerts in music uh, sorry in uh, prison and hospital and she also had high priority to classes for young musician so that was about the first part so guys i would like all of you to see over here uh, there was a story about a girl evelyn who was deaf and how she emerged out of that handicap and she achieved what she wanted to and being deaf she still you know uh, became a famous percussionist and who helped her in that who shaped her in that who contributed immensely in her life was ron her teacher and the famous percussionist and i uh, also narrated another story initially in the first session about helen keller and her teacher and suleiman so from here you could see the role of teacher played in the life of students and how they shape and mold the entire character and immensely contribute in the success so guys i would like all of you uh, to you know pay a tribute to your teachers who you think have helped you in some way or the other or who are uh, who acted as a role model for you so this would be a really you know great uh, you know thank you know, thank to your teacher so the teachers who work tirelessly uh, for you know shaping the character shaping the personality 
uh, of the students you know they have an immense contribution in the life of the students they do need a vote of thanks right so please do uh, take the name of your teacher who had helped you and uh, who who acted as a role model and please do comment in the comment section that would be really great okay and now we come to the second part that is the shehnai of bismillah khan now first of all let us deal with the character of bismillah khan as mentioned in the text he was a great musician we all know that a devout patriot and a liberal human being one of the most eminent musicians of india born and brought up in a family of musicians inherited and learned a lot from his paternal and maternal families one of you asked me in the comment what is the meaning of maternal so maternal means from the side of the mother paternal means from the side of the father maternal means from the side of the mother but further enriched the shehnai music by his impoverished ragas which he harmonized with the waves of ganga so he ganga was like his life it was his soul and uh, the waves of ganga harmonized with the you know uh, uh, the his tune created a mellifluous song his passion for music started very early at the age of 3 and continued up to his death at 90 so this is bismillah khan the great musician the music maestro starting with playing music in the temples and on the banks of the ganga he was too attached to ganga and then he finally rose to fame with international conferences concerts and he was also invited to play at the red fort on the occasion of the you know indian independence on august 15 1947 that was a historic moment and he also was uh, uh, he also received several awards like padma shri padma bhushan and padma vibhushan he also was honored with the bharat ratna which is the greatest in uh, you know civilian award in india he played also in uh, afghanistan before king zai uh, zahir shah and was invited to perform at lincoln central hall usa participated in the world exposition in montreal in kings art festival and osaka trade fair such is the international fame that in tehran an auditorium has been named after him wow amazing so can you imagine Tehran not in India an auditorium in Tehran has been named after him so such was the fame not only in India but also abroad Bismillah Khan was a great patriot who declined the offer of his student to settle down in the USA why because he was too attached to his country and especially to Banaras he had profound love for the Ganga uh where he sat and he composed his tunes and harmonized with the waves of the river and uh, that was his birthplace he was too attached to it the estate in bihar dumrao such high regard does he have for the rich heritage of india that he was not allured by the glamour of the film world so he hardly did Few, he he uh, did few films but he was not very much attracted towards the glamour of the artificial film world then bismillah khan was a liberal human being who had respect for all religion though he was a devout muslim but he played shehnai every day in the kashi vishwanath temple which is at banaras therefore he is not only a great musician but also a great human being okay now let us start with the short questions from this chapter why did bismillah khan refuse to start a shehnai school in the usa because he loved ganga he loved banaras he loved his birthplace dumrao bihar find at least two instances which tell you that bismillah khan loves india and banaras first is we already did he refused to go to us and also um he was uh, invited by 
Shekhar Gupta, he was asked by Shekhar Gupta to move to Pakistan, but he said he would never leave Banaras. Then where did the Shehnai play, uh, where was the Shehnai play traditionally and how did Bismillah Khan change it? It was initially played in royal courts, so it was only limited to few places like royal courts, temples, Indian weddings. But Ustad Bismillah Khan, he brought this instrument into the classical stage, so into a greater stature. When and how did Bismillah Khan get his first break or big break? In the All India Radio, opened in Lucknow, where he played Stehnai. He soon became an over, uh, you know, often heard player on radio and he became the first Indian to greet the nation with his Chennai from the Red Fort on 15th August 1947. Why did Aurangzeb ban the playing of Pungi? Because it produced a shrill sound, an unpleasant one. And how is Shehnai different from Pungi? I remember that I showed a picture of both Shehnai and Pungi in the previous session. So Shehnai had a better tonal quality and a barber, if you remember, a barber had, you know, toned the quality of Shehnai. And uh, it is a narrow, it's a, uh, you know, narrow hollow stem pipe with holes on its body and is longer and broader than Pungi. So it is an improved version of Pungi. And where did Bismillah Khan play Shehnai on 15th August? And why was that a historic event? Because India gained independence during that time. He played it in the Red Fort on August 1947. So guys, if you have, you know, uh, been encouraged, been inspired by you know, uh, understanding and delving deeper into the lives of these immensely uh, inspirational figures, then please do share your love by liking the video and do comment. I have already told you the task. Please do leave a comment sharing your role model teacher. Just as, uh, you know, Helen had, Helen Keller had a teacher, Anne Sullivan, in her life. Uh, then uh, uh, Evelyn had Roan in her life. Similarly, you also uh, must, uh, you know, have uh, a role model, a teacher who's a role model for you, who helped you, who is a greater influence, great influence uh, in your life. So please do mention with a vote of thanks in the comment section. At least they deserve this much. This is the least they deserve. So thank you so much and take care. See you in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.